With the proliferation of video services, communication traffic is expected to show dramatic increases. Standardization of 100 GBE or 100 gigabyte ether was completed in June 2010 in response to this trend. This communication speed makes it possible to send the contents of a Blu-ray disc in just two seconds. NTT Photonics Laboratories has developed a compact optical transmitter having a 100 GBE optical transceiver to promote the shift to 100G systems in transmission equipment and server interfaces. First, let's look at the structure of a CFP transceiver that uses an existing 100 GBE interface. This image shows the structure of a conventional CFP transceiver. The optical transmitter part connects four 25 gigabit per second optical transmitter modules and an optical multiplexer using four optical fibers and then transmits the signal from the multiplexer through a single optical fiber. But why is the structure so complex? In order to generate a 100 gigabit per second signal with single wavelength intensity modulation, it is necessary to generate a 4-bit signal in the space of 40 picoseconds, which, technically speaking, is very difficult. In the case of 100 GBE, 25 gigabit per second signals generated using four lasers with different wavelengths are combined in an optical multiplexer. Then, they are transmitted through a single optical fiber to generate a 4-bit signal in 40 picoseconds, thereby generating a 100 gigabit per second signal. This structure, however, requires many parts. The optical transmitter part is about the size of two matchboxes and is expensive as well. This has been one factor hindering the proliferation of 100 GBE. For the first time ever, NTT Laboratories has combined the functions required for the optical transmitter part in a single chip. Based on semiconductor crystal growth technologies, and design technologies for optical semiconductor devices cultivated over many years. This is the newly developed chip. The four lasers, the modulator, the photodetector, and the optical multiplexer are all combined in a single chip. This chip can simultaneously output four signal mode optical signals with different wavelengths. This is the transmitter module that incorporates the chip. The volume is about 4.8 cubic centimeters, which is less than one-sixth the volume of existing optical transmitter parts. With further adjustments to the package, the volume is expected to be reduced to about 2 cc, or less than half of the current size. Through integration, as the number of parts and the time required for assembly can be dramatically reduced, the cost of the optical transmitter parts is expected to drop by more than one-third. Transmission experiments were conducted using the newly developed optical transmitter. These are the signal shapes for each of the four wavelengths, before and after transmission. Even after transmission over 40 kilometers, the longest distance in 100 GBE standards, the signal shape is clear, demonstrating that strong optical signals have been generated. Conventional modulators require a driving voltage of 2.0 to 2.5 volts. But with our recently developed chip, performance that meets 100 GBE standards can be achieved, even with a driving voltage of 0.5 volts, so that power consumption can be dramatically reduced. NTT Photonics Laboratories will continue to provide powerful backup in the implementation of 100 GBE in equipment in the NTT building and data centers, 
by further reducing size and cost and by increasing performance.